Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, thank you very much, Professor Croix, for your kind introduction. I'm um, governor of Tokyo, Koike, and full name is Yuriko Koike. Another Koike. <laughs> well, actually, Koike means a small pond. What a nature-loving family name. And my first name, Yuriko, means lily. So our names are really nature loving, and it shows how our country is full of nature. So it is a great pleasure to be here today and uh, uh, at the IWA World uh, Water Congress and exhibition. I'm very honored to have this opportunity to speak before the water experts and professionals who are so dedicated to finding solutions to the world's water challenges. I'd like to express my deep appreciation to IWA President Diane Adagas and all who have worked so hard to prepare for this Congress. A former uh, IWA Pro President Professor Kreuz and everyone in the audience today. With climate change and other global scale challenges looming before us, it is crucial for country and city leaders and experts to engage in discussions and cooperation that go beyond national borders. Last year, I went to Paris to attend the C40 meeting with leaders of the world cities. We confirmed that we will further deepen our cooperative uh, relationship to address environmental issues. Now you see uh, Madame Hidalgo, or uh, uh, the before one, sorry. Uh, Madame Hidalgo, yes, and the, uh, myself, and this, the, the mayor of the city of Los Angeles. Uh, I'm hosting 2020 Olympic Games and Paralympic Games, and in 24 in Paris, and Los Angeles in 2028. So we are three uh, linking uh, cooperation. We f confirmed the uh, confirmation to be sustainable Olympic and Paralympic Games. Uh, following this, in May this year, Tokyo hosted the Tokyo Forum for Clean City and Clear Sky. There, leaders share their policies and know how and discuss solutions to realize a sustainable urban environment. And now, at this Congress, I hope to discuss global scale water challenges and work with all of you here to push forward initiatives that we will help solve them. Now, Tokyo used to be called Edo. It was a vibrant city which gave birth to culture and tradition that are very much alive today. This year, we are celebrating the 150th anniversary of the renaming of Edo to current Tokyo. In the 1700s, the population of Edo had already surpassed one million, making it the largest city in the world at that time. It was also a sophisticated city with a water cycle system that was close part of the lives of the citizens. An extremely sanitary system was developed in which water supply and sewage, sew, sewerage were clearly separated. After Edo was renamed Tokyo, urbanization progressed rapidly and the population soared to 13 million today. Modern day
use of renewable energy such as solar power and small hydro hydroelectric power generators to prevent debris of uh, combined sewer system from flowing into rivers when it rains, we develop a, a device mark, uh, uh, mark, marketed under the name Hydrospin. It does not require any power because it uses water flow energy. It is also very important to aggressively introduce the latest smart technologies such as ICT. In Tokyo, we are advancing a plan to introduce smart water meters to the re redeveloped site of the Olympic and Paralympic village after the Games. The Tokyo government is also uh, slated to launch a trial project for the establishment of a smart water system with an extensive network of smart meters. By 2025, smart water meters will be installed in households and water supply facilities in selected areas in central Tokyo and the suburbs. This will verify the broad application of this system and how effective it is in the early discovery of leaks, quick response to disaster and accidents, and efficient manage, man, uh, maintenance and management of the water lines. Through this large-scale field demonstration, net, this demonstration test, we will work vigorously to achieve a new water system that uses the latest technology. By taking this smart perspective and always incorporating new technologies to evolve to further heights, I'm sure that our water supply and sewer systems that lifeline support in Tokyo will resilient and sustainable into the future. Tokyo's long history from Edo to the current day is also a history of being among the first to face and overcome issues such as a rapid increase in population and urbanization. Many of the same, same issues are now confronting the world's large cities and will be faced by developing cities in the new, near future. Even today, Tokyo is dealing with challenges that are or will become global scale issues. These include response to large scale disasters and climate change, and measures to deal with aging facilities and shrinking population. In order to help solve the water challenges of cities, we hope to take the opportunity presented by this Congress to broadly promote Tokyo's outstanding initiatives that look to the future and help contribute to making the world's cities more sustainable. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, please repeat after me. Xin Gi Tai. Again, Xin Gi Thank you very much for your attention.